If you are an entrepreneur or a salesperson, it is your job to set the tone in the sales meeting. Most salespeople completely ignore their body language, the way that they carry themselves, the way they make someone feel, and that destroys their close rates. You are actually a performer because if you're in sales, if you're responsible for pitching, you are on center stage. You are in the spotlight. And those who you're performing in front of, those who you're speaking to, communicating to, you want to have them feel a certain way. And they are along for a ride. And whether those people love you or trust you or actually hate you and despise you, it all comes down to the subconscious micro decisions that everyone makes as they are judging you. And so your body language is something that you need to get comfortable and familiar with and take control of. Because ultimately, if your body language doesn't match what you are saying, people will not trust you. So here are the five ways to make body language your superpower. Number one, decide how you want to be seen. Whether you're going out on a sales call or people are coming to you, you actually have control of the first way that you're seen, the very first image that people have. You know, if this was, again, you're a performer and you're on stage, the curtains pull back, how are you seen? Are you, you know, hunched over your phone, sitting down, texting people? Are you standing confidently? Are you looking out the window, you know, thinking what a great day it is, and then they come up to you and you turn and say, oh, hey there. How do you want to be seen? You walk into a lobby, they tell you to sit. You don't want to sit, don't sit down. You don't have to sit down because they told you to. Stay standing, stay strong. You're, you're worried that they're gonna, you're gonna look ahead and you're not sure what the person looks like and suddenly you're making eye contact with all these random people and they keep walking by, then don't look. Look out the window. Stay standing, maybe be on your phone, but standing straight, even if you're not even doing anything. Decide how you wanna be seen and project that. Number two, make every movement count. When you are meeting with someone for the first time, you have to make every movement count. You have to have an understanding of what you want your energy to be. When someone says, how are you doing? My response is usually, I am great. How are you doing? It perks them up. I can be having a great day. I can be having a terrible day. But what's the point of me starting off by saying, oh, you know, the traffic was terrible. The, the rain outside was nuts. My, my daughter has the flu. She got up last night. She threw up all over the bed. It was just, I'm not even, I didn't even sleep well. Does any of that stuff matter? No. How are you doing? I am great. And that is the energy I want to set. So when I meet you for the first time, I don't, again, want to be hunched over or nervous or shuffling. I want to think, I want to feel that I am great. When I shake your hand, you know, whether it's a firm handshake that people say that you have to do, or it's a little bit softer, whatever you do, make that movement count. When you go to walk in, I always take a few steps forward and open the door and then let the person go through. This isn't a serious thing. This isn't life or death. We are about to talk about exciting, fun new things. So let's carry that energy with us and let's make sure that every movement actually supports the feeling, the tone, the energy of everything that we're doing. Number three, use your posture to set the tone. Okay, you're now at the meeting. Whether it's at the customer's kitchen table or whether it's in the boardroom, you can use your posture to actually set the tone of the meeting from the start, how you want it to feel in the middle, and how you want it to end. You wanna set a relaxed tone, then actually once you sit down, go ahead, and feel relaxed, lean back, cross your legs. You want them to know that you're present? Lean forward, sit on the edge of your seat, lean over the table. You want them to know that you're actually stopping for a moment and considering something? Stop, maybe lean back in your chair, look away, yeah. You want them to know that you're excited? Get up, like literally get up out of the chair. You are in complete control over the feeling and the tone of the meeting, and so you need to use everything that you have to set it. If you're scared, if you're nervous, if your hand is shaking, you need to literally use your physiology, Tony Robbins says. You need to actually change your physical state in order to get into the energy that you wanna set. Number four, watch your expressions. I don't have a poker face. If I'm in a meeting with someone and someone says something that I think is pretty dumb, I can't help but go, and I didn't even know this. I was running my business for like a decade before some client pulled me inside and said, Mark, you gotta watch your face. You know, we were in this meeting and someone on the phone said something and I was watching you. I think it's hilarious, but you were just like, and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't help it. So now I have to consider, do I look engaged? Am I nodding along? Am I, am I deep in thought with you? Am I excited? Can you tell that you're saying something that I think is stupid? You know, if, if you have a poker face, awesome. You gotta watch your expressions because your expressions will convey exactly what you're thinking. And number five, last but not least, use your entire space. 
a lot of people feel like they're, they're stuck at the kitchen table or they're stuck in the chair at the boardroom. You have your entire space, right? Way off camera, anything that you wanna do, you have that space. And so if you wanna illustrate a point, then go ahead and get up and walk over to the screen or the projector and point at it. You have the entire space. Do you see how much I'm waving my hands around? You know, if I was just sitting and talking like this the whole time, then it wouldn't have the same energy. I love talking with my hands, that's just me. You're gonna tap into your own personal skills, but most salespeople and entrepreneurs don't even think about breaking the structure of sitting across from someone. If you want excitement, then you have to look and feel excited. If the person across from you, you ask something and they start to lean forward and they start to think, hmm, that's interesting. Use that momentum. Get up, go to the screen, go to the whiteboard, have the piece of paper, turn it around, jump out of your chair, lean forward, wave your hands, use your entire space because that will convey how engaged you are in the conversation. Ultimately, how you carry yourself can make or break the conversations that you have with prospects and the meetings that you have with your clients, with your teams, with your pitches. Improve and work on these skills and really come to understand how much of this is really a performance. And you will not only have better conversations, you're gonna have a lot more fun. It's gonna be more enjoyable, your confidence will go up. And with that, you will naturally close more deals. If you're looking for more sales tips, check out this video. I think you'd like it a lot, and it would mean a ton to me if you subscribe to my channel.